What's up guys? Today we are going to be upgrading the internal hard drive on my PlayStation 4. I don't know, I, just, I thought this might be kind of fun, something a little bit different. You guys have been watching me piece this setup together piece by piece for a while now. My last video I set up the lights along with the green screen and everything. But uh, yeah, this is kind of exciting because I mean, obviously everything is kind of starting to go towards the digital age where rather than going out and buying a physical copy of a game, you just download it from the internet because you can pre-download it ahead of time so it's ready to go as soon as it releases. Often Oftentimes you get early releases by doing it. It's just like, you know, everybody's kind of moving towards that front. Even if you go and buy a physical copy of a game, most of the time there's a huge update to it anyway. So like, it really makes no sense to buy physical discs anymore. And so obviously that takes up a lot of space. Now, I believe the biggest hard drive you can get for a PS4 Pro is one terabyte. I think they have a 500 gigabyte model and a one terabyte model. So today we are gonna be upgrading this brand new PS4 Pro to a two terabyte hard drive, which is in here. Now, I do know that you can get external drives. If you have a USB 3.0 external drive, you can just plug it straight into your PS4 and you can move games and, and save files and whatever else over to it. But I've heard that over time, sometimes that can degrade a little bit. People have lost files, they've had the hard drive crash, that sort of thing. So I would rather have it be internal, an actual SSD like in the system so there's less of a chance of that happening. So we'll see how this goes. Goes, this should be good. The reason why I have a new PS4 is because the optical audio cable on the back of mine is not working well. So I had to buy a new one anyway and I was just like, whatever, let's give it a go. Let's see if we can update it to two terabytes too. So I got this thing off of Amazon. This is not sponsored or anything. It was like a little upgrade kit that came with everything you need. So it comes with the SSD, which you guys can see right here. It also comes with a little case for the current SSD that's in the PlayStation. So we put the two terabyte one in the PlayStation, you take the one terabyte one out, and rather than not having a use for it, you can actually put it in this case, and voila, now you have a one terabyte SSD external drive, which is kind of cool. So you've got that, it came with this thing, so this is to transfer some of the save files and whatever else. Uh, this, I believe, has a screwdriver in it. There we go, we've got some instructions, and that's that's pretty much it. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be all that difficult, but I've never done it before, so I thought I might make a fun video. Let's give it a shot. So it looks like we've got four steps. Back up your data, replace the hard drive, reinstall your system software, and then restore the backed up data. So first step, update the system software and be signed into PSN, we're already good to go. Connect the USB storage device, uh, select settings and then do this. Okay, so we're we're gonna grab this thing. We're gonna decap it. All right, looks good to me. And then we are gonna come down here, dude. It's so hard to see on the. Oh, it's, I think it's right here. I always forget which side it's on. All right, so that thing is in there. Looks good to go. Don't pay attention to all the cords down here. I know I've got to work on it. All right, so now we've got to go to settings and then application saved data management. All right, looks good to me. Save data in system storage. Uh, boom, copy the USB storage device. If you want to say that, uh, update the system software to the latest version. All right, I think we're already updated. We should be good to go. Looks like it's gonna go through. Okay, so we've... Oh shoot, we've gotta go through each game and do this every single time? Bro, are you, are you serious right now? We can't like select multiple? <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is gonna take forever. Ah, select multiple applications. All right, boom. Uh, I think we already did Apex, but whatever, we'll do it anyway. So, I mean, for multiplayer games, I don't think this really matters. I think it's more about the single player games. I think you wanna make sure you have all your like saved games and everything transfer over. Luckily, right now, we aren't really doing any single players on console, so this is why it's a good time to do it. I always wanna do this, but I was always nervous because I didn't wanna lose out on uh, on any any files or anything in case something corrupted but right now is probably our best chance dude holy cow some of these are some real throwbacks infamous second son holy cow all right so we're gonna go ahead and copy all these over apply to all i guess we'll overwrite for apex since we already did it all right cool so these are all the saved settings once this is done in 90 minutes hopefully sooner than that 
then we're gonna be able to replace the, the hard drive. Actually, you know what? Just kidding, we're gonna be able to do it right now because we're not replacing it in that console, we're replacing it in this brand new one. Man, this feels like such a waste. But yeah, the, the optical cable that my Astros plug into, for whatever reason on, on this PS4 that I'm currently using, it got all loose, and so like it constantly comes undone, and I'm constantly losing audio in the middle of like gunfights and stuff, it's really frustrating. So anyway, we're gonna get this bad boy open, and uh, we're gonna see if we can replace it. Voila, there we go, a brand new PS4 Pro. Man, we are really getting straight into this without any foreplay or anything, I'm sorry for this. This might be the most manhandled a, a PlayStation 4 Pro has been straight out of the box, but we're just gonna go for it, here we go. All right, I think we pulled this off somehow. All right, boom, there we go. The little cover piece is off. Now this is the hard drive bay, and we gotta take this screw out right here. So this little handy dandy screwdriver. It was nice that this kit came with everything you need, otherwise you gotta buy all the pieces separately. Again, I'm not sponsored or anything, but if you guys have ever thought about doing this at home, then keep that in mind. I think we're just supposed to pull this out. All right, looks good. And now we've got four screws around this hard drive. So basically, this is a little biatch one terabyte. We're gonna take this thing out, we're gonna put it in that case to turn it into an external hard drive, and then we're gonna put this big boy two terabyte in there, and we should be good to go. Oh, hello. We have a friend joining us. How are you doing, Miss Bella? Please don't eat my screws. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull these away from you. I forget which ones were which. Don't eat the screws, don't eat the screws. Seriously, that would be really bad for you. All right, here. You know what? I think you should go play with the box. Good job. So anyway, we have this thing done. Let's go ahead and pull this thing out. Technically, I think you should have like an anti-static thing on and stuff, but I don't have any carpet, so I don't think I'm gonna mess these guys up. Let's go ahead and get this thing out of the package. Bella, not right now. She has learned, she used to sit right here and beg to come up. She's now learned to jump up from the simulation rig over there so she can get up here whenever she wants. Anyway, let's not let her distract us. So I believe this thing goes in like that, we had one of these come out, so we're gonna go ahead and put this little spacer back over here. I'll have to figure out how that goes. But uh, yeah, it's gonna go in like this. We're just gonna put in the four screws, put it back in the PlayStation, and we should be good. Done. All right, boom, easy enough. I mean, overall took only a couple of minutes. It would take way less if this crazy one over here that's currently playing with a strap on a cinch bag wasn't trying to eat all the things. I missed it, but she was trying to eat these things. She was picking them up in her mouth, but we're, we're good. We got them all. So this thing's good. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab a ye old PlayStation 4. All right, already has a little bit of dog hair on it. Feeling right at home with us. Uh, I believe it goes in like this. Just go ahead and slide it in there. It looks good. We've got this thing, which goes in here. Of course, that's not gonna work. I think this is magnetized though, hold on a second. I'm pretty sure this screwdriver, come on. Come on, stick in there. Oh, oh, I know you want to. Just like that, boom. Look at that sorcery. What do you guys think about that? All right, anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. We'll see if we can get it in there first time. Like I said, didn't really give it too much foreplay, but she seems ready and willing to please us, so. <laughs> All right, anyway, uh, we got that there. This thing, did it go like this? I think it went like this. Just st stick it in there. Boom, I think we're good. I think, I think that's good. So we're gonna turn this thing on. We're gonna see if it works. Uh, we've still got 100 minutes left on this. So basically, I think all that's left is once this is done, we take that USB stick out, we put it in the new one, we copy everything back over, which takes another couple hours, and then we should be good to go. Hey, you little savage. What are you, where are you going? Goodness gracious, she is absolutely insane. Anyway, I was wrong, I forgot. There is one more little problem. We don't have PlayStation software on that new hard drive. There's a hard drive in there, but it doesn't have anything to boot, so we have to get that. So you need another little USB stick. Technically, we could use the first one we were using, but I'm gonna bypass that because I don't wanna wait. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna download 
Um, this right here, we're gonna agree and download this. Let's go ahead and drag this over here. This is done, so I'm gonna go ahead and we are going to take this thing out, screw safely removing it, I never do that. We're gonna go ahead and plug this thing in here where the USB's at. Oh, they're always so hard to find on these. We're getting close. I think we're in there. All right, boom, so we've got that. Now we're gonna come over, we're gonna press and hold the power button for seven seconds until it beeps. All right, so that means it's starting in safe mode. Okay, yeah, so we've got safe mode here. Let's uh, connect the, the controller. We're gonna initialize. All right, looks good to me. Bella is helping out with the controller, as you guys can see, and we're gonna keep our fingers crossed that this worked. This PS4 will be initialized. All the users and data are gonna be deleted. Well, that's fine because there's nothing currently on there. So now we're gonna initialize this bad boy. We're gonna put the actual Sony software on there. And then once the other one is done copying all my saved files over, we'll be able to take that hard drive or that little thumb drive, put it in this one, copy everything back over, and we're gonna be good to go. So uh, yeah, there you guys have it. That's how you upgrade your internal drive here in a PS4. Nothing too crazy. It's it's pretty easy. It takes, you know, a couple hours, I guess, for the file transfer times. But uh, overall, going to be able to hold double the games. I'm excited about that. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I know it was something a little bit different, but uh, trying to piece this setup together piece by piece. And, uh, I don't know, hopefully I can read you guys a full tour here soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.